Hey, Mr. Myers is here again with you, and this time I'm going over conditional probabilities. Um, so let's go and take a look up here, and I'll talk about what a conditional probability is, and then we'll look at a couple examples, actually just one example, and then I'll have you do a practice problem, kind of example-ish problem there. Um, so let's take a look, and sometimes a conditional probability, well, not sometimes, but this is the, this is the, what it looks like, all right? with a B and then a then a bar then an A all right so this is uh this is P ah, this is the probability probability of B so event B given that a has already occurred okay so it's not it's not really we're not really talking about independence and dependence so it's not like a dependent thing this is a conditional thing so there's a condition attached to to my event, all right? So it's for the probability of B given A. And the formula for that is the probability of both B and A happening divided by the probability of just A occurring, okay? So it's the probability of B and A divided by the probability of A. And I'll show you what that looks like um, in a couple of problems here, okay? So that's that's called a conditional probability because there's a condition to our original, pro to our first event, okay? So let's take a look at a couple. Let's take a look at an example. Um, you draw a card at random, and just if you want to know, this is uh, number nine, I believe, on page 363 of the BVD book. So you draw a card at random from standard deck 52 cards. Let me see if I have some cards here to show you. Okay, here's my uh, here's my deck of cards here. All right, so um, in case you don't know what's in a deck of cards, there's 13, 13 different cards from ace to two, from two to ace. You can say two to king. Um, you've got three different face cards: a jack, a queen, and a king. And you also have uh, four different suits. You have a spade, which looks kind of like that. A heart, which looks like that. A diamond. Okay, there's a diamond. And a club. A club. Notice that the club and the spade are both black. And the heart and the diamond, there was a heart and a diamond, are both red. Okay, so there's two colors. There's red and there's black. And we've got, you know, cards from... Let's see if I can do this. Jack. There's a jack. There's a 10. Okay, so we've got all different types of cards here. Um, so we have to make sure that we know we have a, an understanding of what's in a deck of cards. Now, there are 52 cards in a deck, okay? So the total number of cards in the deck is 52. So um, find the probability that a card is a heart given that it is red. So there's two ways to work this out, guys. There's uh, one way just to think about uh, what, what we're dealing with. This given is the condition. So we've limited the amount of cards that we're dealing with. Now we're only dealing with red cards. Since we're only dealing with red cards, it's half of the deck, right? So half of the deck means that we only have uh, 52 cards in the deck. So half of that is 20, 26. I think I did that right. 26 cards. All right, so that's those are the red cards, right? Half of the deck is red, half of the deck is black. So I have 26 cards. Now, how many of those cards are hearts? Well, half, we've got a total of 13 different hearts because there's um, ace, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to king, and those are 13 different cards. So we have 13 hearts out of 26 red cards. All right, so 13 hearts out of 26 is going to give us one half. And that's our probability. All right, so that's one way to think of it. If we use our formula, the probability that we get a heart given that it's red is equal to the probability that it is a heart and red divided by the probability that it is simply red. So let's go ahead, simply red. Hey, that's a group. <laughs> um, the probability of heart and red, okay? So that's going to be the probability of it being a heart and red. So a red heart is going to be 13 out of 52 because there are 13 red hearts, right? And the probability of it just being red 
is going to be 26 out of 52 because there because there are 26 red cards out of 52 because half the deck right so then when we simplify this 52s are going to cancel we're going to get 13 over 26 which is exactly what we got to begin with okay so the conditional probability is that we have a condition that we that limits the um, maybe the the sample space that we're dealing with okay so uh, what's the probability that a card is red given that it is heart so how many hearts do we have okay we have 13 hearts um, what's the probability that it is red well um, all hearts are red right so the probability that it is red, how many red cards do we have? We have 13. Well, 13 red hearts, right? So 13 out of 13 is just 1. Now, we'll go, of course, we could use the formula. But I think this makes a little more intuitive sense in what we're dealing with. The card is an ace, given that it is red. So how many red cards do we have? Okay, we just talked about that. We have 26 red cards. How many aces are red. Well, we have the ace of diamonds and we have the ace of hearts. So two aces that are red out of that 26, so two out of 26 is 1 over 13. Right? So that would be our probability for uh, the card is an ace given that it is red. All right, so the last one here is uh, the card is a queen given that it's a face card. Well, how many face cards do we have? Okay, let's see. We have um, we have four jacks, four queens, and four kings. So the, we have a total of 12 face cards. Uh, four of those are queens, so we have a 4 out of 12 probability. Okay, which ends up being one, uh, one third. Okay, and again, we can leave our probabilities in, in fractions if we'd like. All right, so that's one example. Let's take a look at, an, at another practice here. Ouch. All right, so this is number 10 on 363. We have a monthly report. Now, for this one, we have actual information, so what we're going to do is make a little contingency table. All right, so we have uh, dogs, cats, male, female, Totals here. All right, hopefully, you remember contingency tables from Unit One. So uh, we have Selter says that we have 24 dogs and 18 cats. Okay, so 24 dogs, 18 cats. Um, eight of the dogs and six of the cats are male. Okay, so eight of the dogs and six of the cats are male. So that means that 12 of the cats are female. And uh, 14 of the dogs, oh no, no, 16. 16 of the dogs are female, okay? So I'm going to add this down because these are totals. Uh, this total is going to be 14. And this total is going to be 28, which is going to give us a grand total of 42. Okay, so that's our grand total. So now let's go and take a look at these, uh, these probabilities. The pet is male given that it is a cat. Okay, given that it's a cat. So the probability that it's male given that it's a cat is equal to the probability that it is a male cat, okay, male and cat, divided by the probability that it's just a cat. So what's the probability that it's a male and a cat? The male cats are here, six. 6 out of 42. That's the probability that's just a cat. 18 out of 42. So you notice these guys cancel out there and we get 6 out of 18, which is um, one third. Okay? So we could also just think about it that um, the probability that male, given that it's a cat, we're looking at 6 divided by 18. This is the given, right? We're just looking at the cats. So the pet is a cat, given that it is female. Here are the females, 28. That it's a cat is 12 out of 28. All right? And 12 out of 28, I'm going to go ahead and put this in decimal form. That's 0.429. What about the pet is a female, given that it's a dog? So given that it's a dog, there's 24 dogs. 
what's the probability that's a female? 16 out of 24. Okay, 16 out of 24 is, well, 0 0.00667. Okay. That's it. Okay, so that's conditional probabilities. We'll see you next time.